all right guys welcome back to the wisconsin farm map here actually we i mean we're on the map but we aren't going to be on the farm exactly today today we're going to be we're going to be on on the cell point slash police uh farm police farm let's say so the cell point here is like the admins farm you could say this is where we have all the cell points we have the police station here it's really really bad and not well maintained so that's what we're going to do today is we're going to we're going to kind of beef up the police station get a bunch of vehicles down here transport a bunch of vehicles i want to get rid of this building i don't like that i do like these little sheds here i think these are kind of nice I might want to sell the barn, put it in a better spot, and then we'll do a little bit of sculpting. I don't want to sculpt too much because that gives a lot of lag, and I think we have, we have what, one, two, we have like six of us on here, so we really don't want to, don't want to cause too much lag, but we're beefing up the police station. At the end of this video, we'll probably drive around and kind of check in on people, uh, and I'll always kind of be monitoring the map. If people are driving around, we'll make sure to, uh, like, State Farm right here, like, it looks like he's about to get out and go. Uh, Billy Bob's in the field. Same with Master and Tanner. Okay, everybody seems to be in the field. So, I always like to keep an eye out. If somebody's on the road, I like to go, you know, go out and meet them. So, and I, I mean, we might need these plows, but a lot of these we won't need. But we're just, oh my goodness, I didn't, I didn't know we had this in game. Oh yeah, I guess we do. We, I, I haven't even been farming that much, and I don't know. Uh, We've had other people kind of doing it. But anyway, we need to beat this place up. First things first, let's go to the garage. Let's see what we got. We have a bunch of police trucks actually scattered around everywhere. And uh, we kind of need to take care of that. And then let's, let's just go to decorations. Let's see what we got. We actually need to plant trees. We can't place them down because it, it actually gives out a lot of lag. Especially when we're on dedicated servers. So we might be doing that. So we have a bunch of barns here too. First things first, let's go ahead and sell them. Don't know why. I understand the tree planter here. Let's just keep everything here for now. There's probably a reason why they bought it in the first place. So let's give them the benefit of the doubt. All right, let's sell the farmhouse and the farm garage. There we go. There's two, there's a barn and then a farmhouse. And so the, these uh, these bail barn sell points, these are like super important. So when people want to come and sell sell bales, they can. They're actually like not in-game things. Okay, is that State Farm? Yeah. Okay, so we actually have horses up here too. Let's go just visit them real quick. I want to make sure you guys know like what's all here. And I need to know too. Okay, these horses need cleaned. Is there a Clarence in here? No, they didn't name a Clarence. Well, there's only one Clarence. Holy cow. This is the big, oh my goodness. Okay, so they must have just got horses on here. State Farm's helping us out too. So he's on, I don't think he's officially on duty, but first things first, like I said, let's jump in the sculpting tool. Let's start painting. We need to make this all grass. I want to make like nice walls though too. That's super important. There we go. Again, I don't want to do this too much due to lag, but you got to do what you got to do sometimes. Uh... Yeah, see, it's kind of lagging a lot. The audio just went out for some reason. Should have went out totally, but we just got to be very careful what we're doing. Clean up all these spots here. For some reason, I can't clean up those. That's really weird. Just weird spots. So let's clean these up. This is good. What the heck is this? A jump? Actually, it looks like a pretty cool jump, though. I actually like that. I might keep it. I like that a lot. That's funny. All right, let's clean up these. I really don't know what that is. Maybe it was some placeables earlier. So I got pretty much everything gone that I want to. Now I'm going to pretty much just expand this. And so this is going to be our police station. All the sell points are down here. So like when somebody wants to come in and sell seed, all they do is drive up on here. And actually like this kind of needs repainted. It wears away over time. Uh, so here is the pull-in. It's kind of a small sketchy pull-in. And it's not very, uh, very like easy to find. What is this actually over here? This must be somebody else's farm, but no worries, no worries. All right, so the pollen's here. We need to clean that up. And then this is going to be our official police station, which is going to be pretty much just this huge top here. For some reason, some sections aren't going down, which is kind of weird. Uh, I'm sure it's just like a little lag. Again, like I said, whenever you paint, it's not perfect. It never is, but especially when other people are on, are on here. It's kind of a lot when you do this for other people's like computers to render it and stuff. 
Okay, so I don't know why that jump is there. I, maybe to clear the fence, but I find it really funny and I, I just, it's pretty well done. Not gonna lie. All right. So the shed there's decent, decent, not the best. We're gonna need to clean this place up in terms of that. There we go. I don't like how everything's kind of, I don't want to sculpt, but I'm actually like, unfortunately might have to. Uh, I think we will. Hopefully it's not too laggy for everybody. All right, so this is pretty much how I'm gonna leave for right now. Some reason why, uh, I don't know the reason why, but for some reason, this is not getting painted down. It's just leaving grass along with the walls there, but no big deal, it's kind of, and then this weird patch of grass, I don't know what to think of that. Maybe, uh, I don't know, because the grass is still on top of here, and I, and like the cement's underneath. So I have no clue how this works, never seen, concrete grass before if you have let me know super duper weird all right so let's go ahead i need to you know what i need to place down a few more sheds place down two or three of the biggest sheds i can totally find all right so let's look here miscellaneous all right huge sheds okay where's that probably in this shed section spencer holy cow all right so let's look here we'll go one here there we go uh, I, I kind of want to sell this one. That's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to sell this one. One thing I'm worried about is if I sell it, it will it let me place onto where it was. All right, so let's test this out here. What I want to do is pretty much just have one in and out and kind of uh, I want to arrange everything kind of symmetrically. All right, so let's look here. Line it up. All right, so for some really weird reason, those sheds weren't actually placing down. And I was like, you know what? Let's test there. Do the in-game sheds work? And they and they did. They worked like perfectly right when I tried to place them down. So I think we're just gonna run with the in-game sheds, which are totally 100% fine with me. I actually like them uh, quite a bit. All right, let's see. Maybe leave a little bit of space in between them. There we go. All right, perfect. I think I'll put one more over here. Each one is going to serve a different purpose. One will probably be the impound shed. The other, I don't know, but, you know, we'll kind of give each one a purpose for sure. Uh, we'll put this one right over here. Okay, I'm not able to get the fourth one in. I think it's because this truck is in the way. But, like I said, each one will have a different purpose. What I think, one will be impound lot. One will be, you know, our ag equipment. One will be just our police equipment. Another one will probably be just, you know, miscellaneous, you know, implements, stuff like that. Uh, let's see, maybe place down... Okay, this object cannot be purchased. Please try again. Like, there's no explanation why this isn't being placed. That that's what kind of frustrates me. Frustrates me sometimes is they don't give me a good explanation. Like, why I want this be able to be placed down? So it kind of, I don't know, just frustrates me a little bit, I guess. And then here we're gonna place the house here. Try and keep it symmetrical. Cover up that little grass spot. And then let's look. Is there anything else? And then we should be done at placing here, guys. I know placing isn't the funnest but we gotta get her done and then we'll have this right here try and keep it this is where like the headquarters will be where the police officers can you know kind of hang out and sleep there we go okay this house is backwards i need to fix that literally backwards what a new i i, I had the house backwards it is actually like this happens to me more often than that it's actually kind of hard to see where something is supposed to go all right uh where's the house farmhouses it's actually really hard to see okay so the garage is facing this way i believe maybe is it the right way it looks to be the right way. Yes. Okay, perfect. So it was backwards last time. No worries, though. All right, let's see. Anything else that we want? Decorations, farm storage, shelter. No, that's it. Okay. So I feel like this is a lot. I don't... It seems a lot better right now. So I'm going to kind of move things around here. We'll have our ag equipment, like I said, in one of the buildings for sure. I think it'll be this far one here. Holy cow, dude. I like this... I like this tractor. I haven't I haven't been in a deer in a while and it, it's nice that more modded kind of tractors are coming out too. That's pretty cool to see. All right, I think I'll put this plow. I'll probably put it on the outside, I'm thinking. 
if I can back this up. Articulating tractors in my backing up skills do not intertwine whatsoever, especially when a plow is 100 feet long. Actually, probably the longer, longer plow probably helps. But just articulating tractors in general are not my fave. There we go. I can't believe I just said fave, but that's all right. We'll bark it up here. So we'll, we'll have each. We'll put a power washer on each shed as well. But I think the police station is going to come together really, really good. The biggest thing is now I just need to put like all this. I don't want to say junk, but just this stuff away. We'll put the quad track and all those little kind of implement guys away as well. And then I need to get our biggest trailer. I'll probably grab just the semi that will be deemed the police semi. Get the biggest trailer and we'll always use that trailer if we ever need to you know haul anything in the future so it's not like i'm just gonna use it for this one time if we ever need to impound like uh some equipment or just anything like that or some farmer is convicted of something and we need to take away what if you use the combine as a murder weapon maybe we need to take that away so lots that are going to go on and i think this might be like our police station in the future uh kind of like hand built there is like a police station mod garrett and i have shown you guys but the only thing about that is we don't want to have a lot of mods on here so anything with the police station is going to be like handmade i guess you can say and it's not going to be the best because we don't have like the coolest mods but i feel like a lot of you guys especially console players can resonate with that not having lots of mods uh as you guys can't get mods uh that you see me play with all the time which is very unfortunate but all right guys so i'm just kind of cleaning out this place and i wanted to show you something real quick I, I was just gonna cut all this boring part out but it wasn't that boring because when i pick things up like i don't know if anybody's had this happen before if you have let me know and how did you fix it i'm sure if i just shut down the server and reopen it it would be totally fine but does anybody notice every time i pick something up it is randomly just I guess it's not really random because the same thing every time it's uh what is that counterclockwise just spinning kind of almost oh my goodness it kind of in the same speed but every time watch i pick it up and there it is it's just i don't know super crazy have you guys ever had that habit i, I kind of wanted to show it to you just because i thought it was so funny uh kind of a pain in the butt too because these things are hard to get on here if if it's gonna act up like that so all right, hopefully we can fit the last one on here. If I have room, I can't really stack them like how I want them. Please, no. Maybe. Go, go. Just, just quit flailing. It's like, oh, I have, I, have, I really have no idea. Obviously, it's a glitch, but it's kind of a weird glitch. I haven't really ever seen anything like that. I don't know. I just thought I would share it with you guys. So, let's jump in here. Uh, let's go back this up. We'll go back it up somewhere over there unfortunately we don't have which this doesn't make sense but okay oh i'll probably take the forward but i was gonna say we don't have like a gooseneck attachment uh gooseneck hitch on any of these trucks and i was like how did we get that trailer down there unless we i thought maybe like we sold the truck or, or something i don't know uh but we'll jump in the ford f450 over there and what i want to do is go pick up all of our police trucks and then bring them down and then i'll probably wrap it up this place looks so much better already just a few other things we need to clean up i'm gonna sell all the power washers because they're just sporadically placed everywhere and now that i moved everything like watch i'll just pick up this guy and there he goes our our plant or our uh tree planter super weird um i have no idea why this stuff is going crazy like that and throw it oh it landed pretty good i thought it landed pretty good anyway so let's sell these real quick all right so now i just need to clean up these three trucks okay these are so zippy it's actually really nice because the ford over there is like pretty slow but you get in these and you just go really nice for like parking and just getting a point from point a to point b so let's see if we can park these over here real nicely there we go power wash over there straighten this guy out a green truck i, I kind of like it though the rims match so I'm not mad there we go let's jump over here like that guy I can't get it straight because it just keeps one the spin all right so there we go I really like these trucks uh, the logo is pretty cool and I I'm pretty sure it was Garrett who did it this this was a long time ago it's really hard to remember so Garrett if you're watching I'm sorry if I forgot it I'm, I'm gonna give credit to Garrett or if it wasn't Garrett I'm sorry if it was somebody else um, I just 
truthfully cannot remember but i really like them and they seem to work pretty good so let's jump in the forward here and then what we're gonna do is go hook up to the gooseneck trailer actually i'm just going to a little unrealistic but i hope you guys understand for time's sake i just reset things all right so this probably isn't the most efficient way but you know we're gonna have fun with it so what i want to do here is hook up to the pj pj trailer excuse me and then hopefully i can load up two pickup trucks we have one two three four five plus a razor holy cow and why do we have a pink razor i do not know uh we'll make sure to customize them any anything i don't like we have a customized shop so i'll just drive up there and then we can change out the colors because pink like i understand like green's kind of cool uh you can make the argument that it blends in with the surroundings but it's not a very good argument okay actually could we oh my goodness oh my goodness what is this it's like oh my i probably should have let go and then of course right when it's done doing all the damage falls out of my hand very cool not cool all right oh uh, no this is i feel like this is gonna be bad bad idea bad idea please please flip over yes let go all right there we go okay what we're gonna have to do is just this isn't gonna be fun but we'll just have to load them up here uh let's see maybe we can get the razor on if we get really lucky the problem is like I, if i need to like move something real quick i'll have to jump in it or like i need to fit something on that i couldn't just like drive it on which is kind of tough but oh well let's see if we can fit the razor on here maybe I'm really lucky I can all right that's as tight as we're gonna get it all right let's watch what happens when we fold it up there we go now I just need to kind of finesse it back oh no don't fall off don't fall off see right here like I would just jump out and like move it just to make things way easier but okay maybe I can move it before it starts to spin okay same thing other side let's go let's go let's go let's go all right let's see if we can back this guy up just a bit so it's not ungodly realistic unrealistic oh my goodness all right let's see let's see i just need to let go and let go oh no see i didn't even do that there we go okay that's way better and then what we want to do now this is gonna be kind of hard but let's jump in the forward and then let's see so this is a we have like a little bumper hitch attachment back here so we can actually connect both of them together which is super duper nice there we go and then hopefully probably not very likely still don't know why the razor is pink kind of making me mad uh let's hopefully we can get these down here there we go we'll load this up I guess the trailer kind of fits nicely I guess we could uh, let's see there we go all right so we got two trucks on here and a razor we're gonna go ahead the sell point isn't like I'm so used to driving all the way across the map from the shop oh my goodness the razor just fell off the razor just fell off I mean it's still on there like it hasn't okay I'm worried it's gonna wait stay on it's coming like to the right and it's on the trailer more okay it's kind of annoying how if I just I should probably slow down I'm going 60 miles an hour with that razor hanging halfway off no 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 oh my goodness see now now watch this I'm like oh I'll just I'll just do this and she wants to spin but oh wait it's working no maybe all right well what, what i can do is i can i don't know guys we're having a rough day so far but i always try and stay positive maybe no dang it oh okay now it's one into like barrel roll this is kind of fun a little more controllable i would say just a little bit more okay screw it what we're gonna do leave the truck in the middle of the road the police officer does all right now we need to pull this off to the side we literally have carnage all over the place what are we gonna do is we're, we're kind of driving by everybody's farm i'm gonna jump in the truck 
and we're gonna go check on everybody's farm one second i get this out of somebody's field holy cow not sure what are we doing today but it's right i got it all on tape we're good maybe not stay on the road okay so what we're gonna do i'm pretty sure john deere farm yes john deere farm is right here i should know that i'm the police officer we're gonna go check on everybody make sure they're following the rules as i just throw my stuff in the road that's not really following the rules but you guys understand we're having some te technical difficulties and if i see them like lagging and they shoot off the side of the road i'm not gonna not gonna give them a fine you guys know how that works i'm not i'm not gonna be like that so let's check in on everything Okay, somebody's out here in the field. We'll go follow the field line. Here's Master Farmer. We'll try and stay off the field. Yeah, let's see. Is he... Okay, he's not napping. He's not napping. Alright. Hey. Did we just talk to him? What's going on, my man? Master Farmer here. Alright, you have a good day now, sir. All I want to do is talk to you and say hello. That's about it. I don't know why I just did that. I was just checking in. He wasn't breaking any rules. He probably is thinking like, what did I do wrong? No. Oh, okay. Now he says hi. Alright, I'm leaving. We'll give him the old one, too. One, two, Mayweather. There we go. Alright, I think we're going to head back to the cell point. I just want to get this truck back here and somewhat wrap up today's episode. The, don't get me wrong like i'm really happy with how much progress we got done but i wish i could have brought over more vehicles but we just need to uh we just need to get there it's actually really nice cell point isn't far at all but we're able to check up on everybody is it bad is it bad to like have false sirens pretty sure that's against the law as well all right that i think uh is this yeah billy bob's out in the field there all right, so we're going to head back to the cell point. I think we're going to wrap up today's episode at the cell point. Here we go. I really like this road. I think it looks really good. So can we see it from here? So that's the station. Yeah, this isn't our farm here. I think that's Case Farms uh, animal kind of section. All right, so the pole in isn't there, but it's right up here. There we go. Yeah, I need to kind of repaint this stuff. But so the police station is back over here. Kind of want to make a formal, like, big cement road. I just feel like that would work best. But this place is a heck of a lot better. We have a nice little grass patch that our police dog can go, you know, do do his one too over there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. Thanks for watching more police videos to come. We're gonna get back on duty here this weekend. Probably have a lot of a lot of shifts here, kind of checking out everybody, making sure everything's good. Especially when there's like 12 people on here, we'll we'll make sure to be uh, on duty. So thank you guys all for watching. Peace out, and I'll see y'all in the next one.